Hello. Here are five top tips from MTT to help you get the best results for your technical translation projects. Tip number one. Choose carefully who you want to do the job. A good technical translator will have experience of working with technical documents from a variety of industries. They may well have a technical qualification or have come from a technical background before becoming a translator. Experience is really valuable and it shows in the quality of the translation produced. The right kind of translator should be able to tell when there's an error in the original document, for example, when something doesn't make sense or seem to be logical. This second proofreading is an added benefit of getting text translated. A good technical translator should be able to research your industry and find out how your product or process works before they begin translation, and you should expect them to ask sensible questions about your text. They are a professional working into their mother tongue to provide a clear, informative text for a foreign reader. Tip number two, consider the format you need. It's not always the case that your document will be presented to us in MS Word, the easiest format for translation. We are more than happy to offer translation of any file format, hard copy document, or even handwritten text. However, if possible, it will save time and money if your text can be made available in an editable format. Thinking about the text itself, you'll need to decide how to convert any units mentioned to metric if necessary, and perhaps consider the layout. If the document needs typesetting, remember that most foreign languages require more space than English. Tip number three. Think about the type of document that you're translating and the style required. The type of document to be translated may affect the way that the translation is carried out. A manual will require clear, precise instructions to be given in a way that ensures the operator uses your product safely. Do you have a corporate style that needs to be followed? Do you want the text to be very formal or phrased more in a way that the operator will understand? A patent needs very careful translation with specific terminology and language use. A specialist translator must be used, especially for legal purposes. A technical website may want to combine technical terminology with more of a marketing flair. Let your translator know what you're looking for and give them some guidance if possible. Always ask to speak to the translator if you're not sure. We're very happy to let you find out more about their skills and what they do well. Tip number four, be prepared to answer queries. A good translator will ask questions. They always appreciate background information, such as brochures or websites that you know are correctly translated, so that they can continue to use your approved terminology. A picture or diagram is helpful. A photo can make a difference. A glossary can be compiled and approved before a large project is undertaken, which will help to ensure a good quality translation in the end. It's easy to do and is useful preparation for both sides. If an engineer can be available to answer questions quickly, this will always improve the translation process. For larger scale projects, on-site training is the best way to help translators understand what you want and experience the equipment themselves. It also helps you to meet the people involved in your translations and find out what skills they have at first hand. Tip number five, allow enough time. If you think about how long it took you to write and approve the original text, it would take a similar time to translate and approve the translated version. Of course, it helps if the right text is sent first time and no amendments are made, but you'll need to allow at least a week for a 10,000 word project and you may have to be prepared to wait for the best person to be free to do it. Queries may delay delivery, and proofreading will take additional time, whether it's done by one of your team or we arrange a second translator to proof the document. And don't forget that proofreading is essential if a document is going to be published. I hope that this has given you a few things to think about when considering a technical translation. And please don't hesitate to speak to one of our team if you have any queries. Over half of the work that we do is technical translation, so come and speak to the experts and we'll help you every step of the way.